Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video. If you are new around here, don't forget to tap that subscribe button. I just want to say that because recently, well, to be honest, over the last year, we've been losing more subscribers than gaining. I don't know who is unsubscribing, but yeah, anyway, just subscribe if you knew it would mean the world to me. Let's see if we can one day maybe get to 650,000 again. I don't think we'll ever do it, but only time will tell. Anyway, let's jump into this and go over the map changes. So the first one we've got is going to be this one here. This is my favorite one, this update. And this is probably going to be related to the storyline quests. And I'll show you other map changes as well. But I just want to show you the first one, which is just outside of the i guess the brutal bastion area over there and if you come over here you've got the labs as well we can go inside of this cave which is like a giant maze and inside of this cave you have to explore and kind of find your way around and it's going to be really difficult to maneuver around here it's quest related but if you do figure your way around this cave you will actually find the center room which is almost impossible to find in this situation which i'm in right now so eventually after exploring the maze for a long time you'll come across this room in the center which will actually be a much much bigger room than every other room in the maze so you'll be able to tell where it is it's got these really cool lights in as well and a lot of chests and in the center it has this kind of like schismatic which is pretty cool which actually indicates something to do with kinetic ore now from what i can tell by looking at this if i uh, get my mouse you can see here it looks like it's powering something some sort of telescope something in the sky and this actually looks similar to kevin's energy which has been used in a lot of different things or the kinetic energy i don't know if it actually relates to kevin's energy but it looks similar to what's used in the uh, io facility to power at a zero point which hasn't been seen in a very long time it feels like almost years ago since we've seen that but yeah obviously this is being used here to power this and then power this here so pretty awesome stuff and a really cool kind of uh kind of i guess repower up of this or whatever you want to call it or the schismatic thing so i kind of like that anyway let's get out of it it's quite difficult to get out so i'm just going to go through the water and kind of go out that way because it's just a little bit easier and a little bit quicker if we can find an easy way out this way <laughs> it looks weird when you're underneath the map in replay but it's quicker to get out if we can find the exit where is it there we are okay we're out so yeah it's very difficult to find in that cave it took me a long time but i just kept glitching through the floor i don't really know my way around it but i'm sure in the game you guys will clock it okay so that's the first map change i wanted to show you guys it's quite a big one now the next one i want to show you guys is over at the jungle biome we've had a few different map changes around and these are quite crucial ones as well to indicate for you guys so the first one at the jungle biome is going to be going over to the telescope the uh, apparatus which has been under construction for a while it now looks like it's fully constructed and is ready for its action now we know that this is going to be pointing itself to the sky we'll talk more about storyline in a separate video i'm going to make an entire video about the storyline and you can see it's clearly using the cubes kind of hieroglyphics to power it and use using ancient technology and what this is going to do is it looks like you're going to have to put in like cube shards or i guess these will be kinetic ore shards to power this thing and this is going to be pointing itself at the sky towards the ice moon and hopefully bring it to the island for next season is what people are predicting but we'll do talk more about that in a story video you can see salon has kind of built oral equipment and all set up and all ready to go in this section so nicely done there it's finally constructed this lovely telescope it actually looks amazing compared to previous stuff we've seen so yeah i do like what they've done with this now salon is no longer based here anymore she's actually based herself back at her tank which is just down the road so it looks like Sloan has officially returned back to her tank location, which is over here by this tank. And she now has got this big button control system thing, which is probably rooted up to the telescope. And she's going to be able to use these buttons to control it right in front of her tank, which is still alive, but doesn't work anymore. It's completely molded over. And yeah, the same sort of stuff here. But Sloan is situated back here at her little base. She isn't really much of a base. She just loves living in that tank, I guess. But yeah, this is new. This is pretty cool. Who knows what this is going to do? Just look at it. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, we'll see what that's going to do in the map change side of stuff. Also, for those that play Toy Box, I have added in the brand new Shark Shotgun, which has been going around for a while in VR, but it's now in the actual Toy Box and in Creative. So, if you want to go in there, it's in there. You can grab it, you can play it, you can try it, pop in with the code, give it a go. Okay, so back to the video here. Oh, do you guys even remember the name of this POI? Splits? I was, I was actually thinking to myself the other day, what did it used to be called? The Splits. I don't even remember the first name for it, but this this chapter this chapter man this chapter <laughs> okay so the next one i want to show you guys is going to be coming in inside of the main temple area which is going to be going over here into the big temple which is this one which they've been searching i think if we go down into the basement of it oh no it's not this one actually it's the other temple along the way hold on hold on this main temple over here it should actually have some stuff in the basement and we should be able to take a little look at it because we now have obviously the telescope thing we do have this one here with the transformers and the newest one today which is this thing which i have no idea what this is but it's pretty cool you see it has been revealed here and i don't know what this could be or what it could indicate it's the last uh, memorial inside of the rumble rumble 
ruins before Sloane obviously went back to her location. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Who knows what it is. Now, the next little map change I want to show you is kind of a little side one because it's not... But it is a map change, but there's not really much to see because it's gone. And that's actually, if we go over to Mega City, we've actually had the removal of the Future Armor ship. Future Armor ship, I think it is. I think that's what it was called. It was crashed into this building here, but it's gone. So, yeah, it's completely gone. Smoke's still here, though, from it, which is kind of strange. So, I don't know what's going on with that. And also, Bender's no longer here as well as the NPC, which is kind of sad. He was super powerful. I do miss him already. To be honest, there wasn't much hype around him. I wish there was more. Maybe he could have been a boss, but he was a cool NPC to hire definitely one that does deserve a return at some point he was awesome so let's move over to our final map change in today's video which is going to be coming in over on the side of i guess the uh citadel side and this is where we will see an interesting one because sloan is now investigating something over here and it looks like it's going to be something to do with the rift gate so the rift gate's over here it's crashed in and it now looks like dr sloan has set up a mini equipment area over here you can see they've got a little table with a few walkie talkies to contact sloan a weird i have no idea what that is on the table what on earth is that circular thing water maybe and then obviously some other boxes and bags and just stuff like this and then this crane thing here which is uh, being used oh no it's not even being used by sloan i don't think i don't think this was already previously here so literally just a computer for her to look at this and go yep that's the right thing to do guys send it over and obviously this rift gate will be important this was important to bring mega city to the map that's all it did story this chapter has really sucked in my opinion uh we will make a separate storyline video though for what we can like come up with theories and stuff tomorrow probably or later today depending on what time i get to with this because i've had an absolute nightmare today on fortnite creative uh this is just a side topic it's not really a map change i don't know how fortnite don't put create this in their priority list when they're testing an update but all save data across all the fortnite creative has been wiped so that includes every single map inside of fortnite creative uh, i don't know how that is not a priority for them it is beyond me how that is not a priority i think it's ridiculous for a game that should is trying to promote creative to this degree making silly mistakes like that is not necessary and should not be happening so it's super disappointing and something that i hope they can revert but it looks unlikely currently but obviously only time will tell if they can revert it or not i think the only way of them reverting it would be pushing an actual downloadable update which would cause people to download the old save data because otherwise people will be saving it over the top of their current scores i spent countless hours resetting score manually on 50 fashion and i've spent probably around 100 plus hours on 50 fashion inviting people in resetting their scores already because of a bug on it and i had to manually save score on that map because it's super buggy already and now it's just even worse everyone has been reset and if that is the case and we have to grant score back again what i will be doing is i'll be doing kind of like grouply stream sessions and just hosting it up with everyone joining in and resetting it otherwise it's just going to take too long to do i've already spent so many hours doing that from previous bugs from fortnite and this one is just an absolute like press the button and wipe so let's hope they fix it but only time will tell anyway that's been my nightmare for today a little bit of a rant i hope you guys have enjoyed the map change video anyway i'll get the storyline video up as soon as possible don't forget to support the channel further with code post in the item shot it really would mean the world to me right now i've had a really terrible day so hashtag epic games partner please enter in code post and don't forget to subscribe if you're new see ya